Hi, my name is Dan Golish. I'm a senior manager in Skoda Monati's Valuation and Litigation Advisory Services Group. I'm here today to spend a little bit of time talking about goodwill impairment and what it all means to, to companies that have had recent acquisitions. Um, goodwill arises when a company acquires another company called the Target um, and the purchase price associated with that acquisition exceeds the value of the hard assets. So you have some intangible assets acquired, including some leftover goodwill, which is kind of, you know, kind of unallocated purchase price. Um, so each year after the transaction, companies need to go through an exercise to evaluate that goodwill. It's really a simple mathematical formula that says if the book value of equity exceeds the fair value of equity, then you're impaired and you have to uh, book an impairment charge on your income statement. In the, on the other hand, if, if fair value exceeds book value, you're fine and you can move along. Um, you get to do it again next year though and every year the year thereafter in which you carry goodwill. Um, what does that mean? I mean, there's a lot of different ways to value, um, to perform fair value. That's a, a discussion for another time. But what does it mean if you actually fail that test and have to book that charge? Well, it's really a non-cash charge. So owners aren't going to probably care too much as long as the company continues to cash flow consistently with what it's done in the past. But at the same time, you have some concerns um, about perhaps a, a, a poor acquisition. You may have a, the perception may be you've overpaid for that because um, you've had to take this impairment charge. So that's a little bit about goodwill impairment. To learn more, uh, please visit our, our blog at blog.scotamanati.com or call us at 440-449-6800. Thanks.